We're glad to have Last Hour Bluegrass here with us today. Uh, this is their first time being here, and I believe they're from a little bit of everywhere over in the North Carolina area. Am I right about that? Yeah, a good group of young men here and a lady. Well, a good fiddle player. So we're looking real forward to them, and I know they they just signed on with a label and things, so it uh, looks like the Lord's using them, blessing them. So you get behind them, and like I've said, just worship the Lord today. Just uh, give God the glory and uh, have a good time. Yeah. 
said we're so excited to be here today hope you're always enjoying the music this far um that last one we just did is called carpenter and it's one of our favorite ones we're doing and i'm gonna go ahead and introduce the guy that just sung that so right here on my left you're right his name's james pocket from statesville north carolina y'all give him a hand we love james most of the time i think that's the nicest thing you've ever said about me everybody got that on record right is somebody recording this I'm going to play that. Oh, right here. Thank you. I need that. He said he loved me. You heard it. We. Oh, we. Sorry. Okay. Not me. Not personally. I don't know if I agree with that, though. <laughs> what? We'll, talk, we'll talk about it. We'll talk about it. We need to move on. Yeah. I think we're going to pick y'all a banjo tune. I don't think anybody here likes the banjo. <laughs> You, have y'all ever heard the definition of a perfect pitch? I haven't, James. You haven't? No, not recently. <laughs> <laughs> I've heard that a perfect pitch is if you can throw a banjo in the dumpster and not touch any of the sides. That's the definition. <laughs> is that offensive? Uh, a little offensive. All right. Sorry, no. Thank you, value. Feel better. <laughs>
song, our time has come and gone all too quickly. Uh, so I'm going to introduce right over here on my left, picking the banjo, uh, doing an excellent job. I'm uh, 16 years old, um, not even really uh, too far into that year yet, but doing a fine job on the do. Oh, uh, not the dobro. What am I talking about? The banjo player right over here. Noah Stills, also from Asheboro, North Carolina. If you'll give him a round of applause, please. Doing a fine job on the banjo right here on the left. Uh, then um, this last song that we're going to do here um, is also the single that we've released, available anywhere where you can uh, listen to music streamed. Um, we've also got it on our uh, CD that's available right back here uh, in the back on our table as well as some t-shirts as well. Um, but um, this last song is called He Guides My Way. It was written by the fellow right here on my right, Mr. Caleb Munson. Um, he's written quite a few songs for us, does an excellent job at that. But picking the guitar, keeping us all together uh, with this beautiful sound of Martin up here. Uh, let's all give him a round of applause. Caleb Munson from Albemarle, North Carolina. I don't know. I've been trying to figure out how to say it. Can you give us the proper, proper popular phonetics of that? Abma. Abma. <laughs> right. I've been there several times and I still don't know where it is. So We don't either. <laughs> Very good. All right. Well, it's been a pleasure being with you this uh, afternoon. Um, we're going to leave you with this one called He Guides My Way. Let's get it moving. such a wonderful job. We really appreciate everybody. We got two drawings left, and it looks like a lot of our cars have moved on. I think there's some cruise-ins and stuff tonight, so a lot of folks are moving on, but we do have two plaques left. Uh, if you're here and you brought a show car, get your raffle tickets ready, and I'm going to go ahead and do two at once. Uh, Kenny and Amanda Smith are coming up next, so uh, I'm going to go ahead and draw two and our final band will be coming up after that. So I'm gonna go ahead and reach in here and draw a couple of tickets out. And uh, these two plaques, one of them is the love plaque and the other one is the hope plaque. And the Bible says that our hope maketh not ashamed. Your hope is your expectations. That's what you're looking forward to. 
Now, I'm looking forward to Kenny and Amanda Smith coming up here, but more than anything in this life, I'm looking forward to going to heaven one day. Amen. According to the Bible, our hope, our expectation in heaven will not disappoint anybody. Nobody will be let down or disappointed about putting their faith in Jesus Christ. So we have the hope plaque. Then we have the love plaque, which is John 3, 16, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever would believe in him should not perish but have everlasting life. God saved us because he loved us. He didn't have to and we didn't earn it or deserve it, but God loved us enough to send Jesus into this world to die in our place and raise him the third day that we might have salvation. So we have these two plaques. Also, there's a $100 gift, $100 cash gift with each one of these. So our first drawing, our first ticket, get your tickets ready. The number is 960-4925. 960-4925. Got any winners on that one? 4925 is the last four. Anybody? See anybody? I'm looking for hands or anybody running. Don't pass up $100. All right. Going once, going twice. We'll move on to the next one. All right, our next ticket is this. Got your ticket ready? 960-4972. 4972-960-4972. Any hands on that one? We may have waited too late in the day. Looks like everybody's pulled out on us. You got one coming. All right. All right, Marlon Hensley. What about that? Is that who it is? All right. A local favorite around here, hometown hero. The man, the myth, the legend, Marlon Hensley. Come on, on up over on this side, if you will, Marlon. I'll give you, give you a plaque here. We appreciate Marlon. Marlon, you all got a festival coming up here pretty soon, don't you? Yes, sir. September the second. September the second. All right. We appreciate you, Marlon. Thank Everybody's you. Everybody's welcome. Come on down. All right. Free admission. That's just down the road here, isn't it? All right. All right, I'm going to draw another, our final plaque here, our hope plaque. All right, get your ticket ready. 960-4984. Any takers on that one? Nine six zero four nine eight four. Y'all see you guys. <laughs> I'll give you just another second in case somebody missed it. Four nine eight four. Got it. All right. Wow. Yeah. Mountain the outfield. All righty. We want to tell everybody thank you for bringing your cars. I believe the last count that we had on show cars was around. 80 cars today, and that's about norm, about where we usually run. So uh, we appreciate everybody bringing their cars out, letting us spectate, drool, and wish, and admire your hard work and your, your cars. It's been wonderful. Appreciate Brother Craig Shelton bringing the old uh, town bus. That's Brother Craig. Everybody knows that. That's become a staple of our community. And uh, we appreciate him. Also appreciate him and his church donating the stage today. Big Al's Barbecue, I know he's already pulled out, but we appreciate them and all the folks from Higgins Chapel that's worked so hard to put all this together. Appreciate all of them. And I'm the pastor here, in case I forgot to tell you. Uh, Adam Miller, we have church on Sunday morning at 10, uh, Sunday night at 6 o'clock, uh, Wednesday night at 7 o'clock, and uh, we'd be glad to have you. If you're in the area and need a church to go to, just stop by any time.